This is a tutorial for the Canada Day Pinwheel. So what you'll need is three red cardstock paper, two white cardstock paper, scissors, straw, pliers, they are optional, glue, tape, and the template you can download from our website. So first you're going to cut out the maple leaf template. So now you have the cutout of the maple leaf. You can take the cardstock paper and either trace the maple leaf template and then cut or cut a small square and just start cu cutting along the lines of the template. Now that you have the template cut out in the red cardstock paper, you can start making the accordion. So it's an accordion fashion. You just have to fold in the same length back and forth for the two white cardstock paper and the two red cardstock paper. So once you've done that twice and you have all four cardstock papers done, you're just going to fold the accordion papers half, like so. And we're going to do that for all four papers. And then you're going to want to glue the sides together. You can tape or you can glue, whichever you prefer. So once you're done both halves, you can either have it whichever way you'd like to flip it. So I'm going to do red, white, red, white, and I'm just going to glue the two halves together. Again, you can glue or you can tape the two halves together. So I'm going to stick them together, and it'd be a good idea to let the glue dry. Once you feel like it's strong and it's dry, you're just going to tape the middle together so it sticks. I'm first going to put tape in between all four quarters. And then I'm going to tape the opposite sides together just to reinforce the middle and make sure that they stay together. So now that I got the tape in, I am going to flatten the paper straw. I'm using pliers, but you can use your own hand if you like. You'll notice it's all flat. And I'm going to thread it through the middle. And then I'm going to fold the one end and stick it into the other end. And then to ensure that stays, I'm going to tape it up. And then I'm going to move that tape section to the front and it will be covered by the maple leaf. So I have the maple leaf, it's going to cover the tape area. I'm going to use tape to secure the maple leaf on top. And voila! Now that I secured the maple leaf on, it's all done. You can either use it uh, as a decoration on the wall, you just put some tape on the back and then tape it to the wall.
you can tape it on ledges like so and hide that area that's been taped or you can just use it as a handheld uh, fan or pinwheel. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.